Escape from Tarkov is a beautiful game, but it's also a punishing one. When I first picked up the game, I was shocked how hard this game was and how unforgiving it was. So I look up to the community, I saw all grown up men, beards, people in its early 30s or the late 40s, and I said to myself, there's almost no child here. Unlike Call of Duty, this means this is a mature game right here, right? Then I realized something. Tarkov is filled with adult childs, which cry for pixels. They take this game way too serious and they get on the high horse telling people how the game is supposed to be played, trying to push some ethics to the games, believing they are the right users or believing they're in their superior moral. <laughs> um, <coughs> sorry. Yes, I thought I found, I found the perfect game where people would be mature and non-emotional. Boy, I was wrong with that sentence. Well, let me introduce you to the saltiest man that I have encountered in Tarkov. Enjoy it. Ah, the snow. The best thing that could happen to Tarkov in many, many, many blue moons. I really miss the snow. The snow made extra camping at night so easy. The delivery is here. Well, just in time, buddy. Thank you so much. I'm sorry, but this has to be done. <laughs> My bro was dancing for his life. <laughs> I'm a rat of discipline, so I gotta keep my silencer in my butt. We leave this here for insurance purposes. Okay, time to collect! Um, nom, 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 nom. Thank you! Thanks for the load, partner. I live now. That's why I don't do missions, guys. I got free BP for a couple of bullets. A great success indeed. Oh, look, a letter. I got friends. Yes, I'm gonna wish good night to my new friend. Yes. Oh, no, that's not friendship. That's a threat. <laughs> Let's take a moment to appreciate the limited cognition that chats have of their hive mind. They think just because Tangrat is famous, they genuinely think that he invented extra camping and rat tactics. This nitwits genuinely thinks that Tarkov was a game rat free before Stangrat arrived. Bro, this was a thing even pre-inertia, with masters uh, like Exfield Camper, General Sam. Ratting has always been there since the roots of Tarkov, even since the beginning, some people that we don't know either. Nope, I'm better than a rat, I'm a clown. <laughs> Classic chat argument, <laughs> they have a hive mind. I was camping before Stangrad, you know, man? I was there in the dark times of pre-inertia and chats running around with right backs and no penalization at all of that. Now my bro thinks he is a psychologist. <laughs> yeah, I like to read a lot when I try to wait for people like you, no? Well, in that regard, sir, you helped me a lot with that load that I got into my stash. That was really helpful for me, you know? I have a therapist number. <laughs> this guy is so freaking mad. Tough luck for you, mate. I don't living in the USA. A Mexican dude <laughs> stealing is in my blood. <laughs> You are a goof. <laughs> this guy ran out of insults, I suppose. Now we are talking. The tantrum escalated. You know, when someone lost it, it's because they start to bring the parents to the table. They have no arguments left, they just straight attack you. Oh my god, this guy is math. 
How many Twinkies did you eat today? <laughs> I'm just start to thinking that this guy is projecting because he's taking too many fat jokes here. Well, I gonna keep him telling of my life. Poor guy, he just lost it. Poor guy. And my guy keeps projecting with the fat jokes. Classic. Being fat is not a feeling, it's a condition. I not wake up early morning and say, oh, I today I feel fat or something like that. Jesus, these chats are so damn brain dead. Now we talking, my guy is getting madder and madder and madder every second that I'm here with him. with weight loss. <laughs> Daddy issues, dude, you are arguing with someone from the internet more than 10 minutes straight. <laughs> what do you mean with daddy issues, dude? <laughs> You have no girl. <laughs> this guy is getting, getting mad every second that I'm spent with him. Well, let's see how much he can endure. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, get off that of your chest. I understand you need it. Yeah, keep projecting, dude. Keep, keep going. Keep going. When a person starts insulting you in some concrete and detailed ways, he's projecting himself. Maybe he got someone fat in his family and he hates that. Or maybe he is fat alone. Maybe he is a lonely guy that happens to cross ways and he is relieving his pain with me. Well, that's something nice for my part, you know? As you can see here, my boy ran out of ideas, so he's calling me fat over and over and over again, non-stop. His brain is literally melting right now, poor guy. He did his best to insult me, I think I got, I took like four, two or three years of his life expectancy. <laughs> He left. He couldn't handle it. I was willing to be there until the last consequences, but he couldn't handle me. He couldn't handle the clown himself. <laughs> well, anyway, he also got loot phobia, so he couldn't be like a child without loot phobia. Uh. That's what all for today, guys. Uh, thank you for uh, taking your time to watch my video. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for the help you are making in this channel. I almost 10k. I understand that. I uh, maybe I gotta. I will do a video about it, but it would take a little bit longer because I'm working and things got a bit of tough in my side. But don't worry. I'll try my best to bring you the best content here, the best of the best for you. So what I can do for today it is I say thank you and have a good one. <laughs>